Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to troubleshoot a faulty wheel bearing. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com or click on link in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future tutorial videos. There are a few different types of wheel bearings equipped on vehicles. First, we have a tapered roller wheel bearing, such as found in this Ford Ranger. These are designed to handle a combination of loads, which includes radial and actual. There can also be a Conrad style wheel bearing and then an Angler style wheel bearing, which is able to handle more thrust. Styles will vary between vehicles, along with which type is used on the drive, trailing, or steering wheels. For failed wheel bearing sound clips, I do have three examples, which will be shown in this video. Maintenance intervals do vary between vehicles. Some may need to be replaced at 250,000 kilometers or 150,000 miles, while others may last the life of the vehicle. And even if one does require replacement on your vehicle, that doesn't mean the others are due for replacement either. One side of the vehicle may fail at 100,000 kilometers or 60,000 miles sooner than the other side. The most common sign of a faulty wheel bearing is the excessive growling noise when driving the vehicle, such as shown here. The sound can be felt throughout the body of the vehicle as a vibration, in the steering wheel, it is incredibly loud, the tone will change at speeds, and the tone will also change when cornering. It will become notably louder when you're going around a corner at a higher speed too, because you are putting more strain on the bearing, depending on what way you are turning though. I'll let you listen to this clip for a moment. This is a faulty front driver side wheel bearing on this 2000 Volvo S70. I'll upload a full video of this particular clip and the link will be included in the description below. With the 1997 BMW 540i, I also had a failing front driver side wheel bearing. I caught this before it started making any noise when swapping over my winter tires. A failing wheel bearing can also be felt and heard when turning the hub by hand. A new wheel bearing will be somewhat stiff when rotating, which is from the grease inside. Eventually that grease will either dry out, wash out due to a failed seal, lose some of its lubricating qualities, or even become filled with worn material. So as the bearing gets older, it can turn more freely, eventually leading up to the point where the bearing overheats and expands or gathers material and becomes galled. Galling is basically a flaw in the surface where worn material becomes embedded on the surface from heat, pressure, and friction. Just to give you a quick listen. And finally, you can use the dial indicator to check for hub runout. We are looking for any spikes or drops when the hub is rotating. This will show the hub is shifting over on a galled or excessively worn area. If wear is extreme, you may even be able to pull or push the hub to show excessive play in the bearing too. For this one that was removed from the Volvo, here is a sample footage. I have clamped it to the trailer so the sound resonates better. The sound normally starts out as a light clicking sound. As it becomes more worn, then you have the groaning or grinding sound. This wheel bearing was from the drive wheel on a front wheel drive vehicle. As you can see, it's mounted to a spindle by a flange, then driven by an axle which fits into the spline in the center of the hub and is held with an outer nut or also known as a pinion nut. Again, a quick sound clip by hand. As for the BMW, very similar system where the wheel bearing assembly is held on by a flange to the spindle. But this isn't a drive wheel, therefore there is no need for an axle and there's no spline. Such as this front wheel found on a two wheel drive Ford Ranger, as mentioned earlier, it uses a taper roller wheel bearing, which is a serviceable design unlike the two examples from the BMW or Volvo. Typically the maintenance intervals for this type of wheel bearing is 12,000 miles or 20,000 kilometers or once a year. This will vary between manufacturers, so check with your owner's manuals first. The bearing should be inspected, retorqued, and if required, cleaned of any grease and then relubricated. I have saved the wheel bearing from the BMW, which I will be cutting down to give you a peek at what it looks like inside and hopefully you'll be able to see the gallon. New videos are being released every week to my channel, so subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, and if you have any comments, please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.